Today, I will tell you why you can't make money with ChatGPT and show you who and how makes billions in the AI industry. There's a high chance if you're into business and money making that you saw these videos from YouTubers which say that you can make a lot of money with ChatGPT or AI in general. The most popular way people say that you can make a lot of money is from copywriting. Copywriting is basically a text which persuades someone to buy something. This is a Facebook ad for a dropshipping store. This text is their copy. Yeah, I know, it looks hard to think of something persuasive like that, but AI can do that for you. If you tell ChatGPT to write you a copy for a product, it will. So now you can have zero knowledge in copywriting and sell copy to businesses generated by ChatGPT. Easy money. In reality, really hard. Firstly, you have zero knowledge in copywriting. You don't know how a good or how a bad copy looks like. When you have zero experience, it's really hard to get work. This is actually the only business model that can work. The rest can't work. You will see why. This can work because you can actually lie to people that you are a pro and get work from there, which is not recommended. Or you have some or a lot of experience in copy and ChatGPT can just be a inspiration or a foundation for your copy. Now a business model that can't work. YouTube automation. So this is basically everything automated. The script, the editing, the narration, the thumbnail, the whole video. You can tell ChatGPT to write you a script about a video, go to Mid Journey for the thumbnail, put an AI person in the video and use text-to-speech voice. For editing, pay on Fiverr. Sounds good and easy, but there are some problems with that. You can't monetize it. YouTube doesn't allow in AdSense program the text-to-speech channels. ChatGPT has a lot of errors and mistakes. It uses data until 2021. Then it was disconnected from the internet. Same as in copywriting. ChatGPT can be used as a tool to help you write scripts. AI can help you make videos. For example, I used AI to make the thumbnail for this video that you are watching right now. It came up with the variations of the robot. This, 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 this. I don't know which one I will use for thumbnail. Video creation with AI will drastically change. And that will happen in the near future. You will see why later in the video. Okay, making money with copywriting and YouTube automation is kind of possible in a way. But there is a business model that isn't possible as YouTubers say it is. Courses. The principle is easy. Ask ChatGPT to write your course, make a presentation and then just promote it. Easiest money ever. Except it doesn't work. You see, the top courses are made by the biggest expert in their field on all course platforms. And remember, ChatGPT doesn't always come with good answers. But if you use ChatGPT for foundations to build your course and get some people Anyone with a gram of intelligence will realize that you don't have any expertise in this field and will want their money back. So yeah, sorry to crush your dreams. There is a site where you can sell prompts for AI and make money. So not all is lost. Also, you can get creative yourself and use AI for another thing. Like this artist who made a children's book with AI. This got me wondering, who owns image and text rights of the book. The AI or the artist? You know what the best part is? This could go in two ways. One way is that ChatGPT evolves so much that it's better than the best copywriter on the world. Or that the company that owns ChatGPT restricts certain things. They can be like, hey, you can't use ChatGPT for copywriting. This scenario is highly possible if people will lose jobs because of AI and the companies will receive a huge backslash. Proof of that is cancel culture. Yeah, I know it sounds insane, but people are canceling things for stupid reasons. They could easily cancel things for important reasons. The fact is that AI has the chance to destroy world's economy. What if someone makes an AI that can create a multi-billion dollar idea? And the AI does everything it needs to get to the goal. And then the creator releases it for free. What I'm sure is that if it won't destroy the economy, it will change it drastically. Look, people hopped on the ChatGPT money-making train. It's just a question of time when businesses will come to mass use it. For example, 
ChatGPT would be great for customer support. If you look at this video, Google made an AI that is unrecognizable. Oh, how can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Sure, what time are you looking for around? At 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1.15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending Insane. But now, who and how makes the big bucks in the AI industry? The answer is simple and predictable. The giant tech companies. That's not new. They did it for years. Google search is based on AI. TikTok algorithm or for your page is based on AI. Dating apps, guess what? Based on AI. Facebook is using AI to sell data about predicting users' future behavior. Microsoft made a 200 IQ move. They invested $10 billion in OpenAI, the company that owns ChatGPT. You won't believe why this is a genius move. AI needs cloud computing for running. And who is the second largest provider of cloud computing? What's genius is that OpenAI is paying Microsoft to use Microsoft's cloud computing service. So Microsoft basically gets his own money, but that's not the only thing. OpenAI needs to give them 75% of profits until they pay them back. And after that, Microsoft will own 45% of OpenAI. This is one of the best deals of the decade. Why would OpenAI even agree to these conditions? Well, first, it will make them rich. And cloud computing is really expensive. OpenAI pays $3 million on cloud computing per day. There is more why this is the biggest deal of the decade. Microsoft is starting to implement ChatGPT to his search engine, Bing. You remember Bing? This is good because this makes really easy to use search for a quick thing you need. If you look at the regular search, you need a lot of time to get to few websites to get your answer. There is also a huge problem with that. How will make Microsoft money? There can be search ads in AI, and it's much more expensive than a regular search. Google countered this move with his new AI Bart. It went pretty bad. But don't underestimate Google. They are still first in search. And there works a lot of smart people. AI is insane. People are creating books with it, generating persons that doesn't exist, website design, AI influencers who are taking over social media, deepfakes. Oh, deepfakes. This is not Tom Cruise, but this is Joe Rogan. I mentioned in the beginning that AI will change video. This is Dreamix. You input a video and you get a new one. Unbelievable. AI could be really dangerous, and some people will use it for bad stuff. Remember, AI is still in his early age. It will evolve. That's why interesting times awaits us. Joaquin Phoenix, her movie, where people fall in love with AI, or Black Mirror's episode where the boyfriend passed away and the girl uploaded his social media to generate an AI copy of him, are highly possible scenarios in the future. Damn, imagine if your wife will be an AI. That can be determined how will this AI battle end. And who will join of the giant companies in this huge battle? Can we even trust the companies? We have to let time tell us. Mm -hmm.